What is up guys? It's Jiren. Today's video is my favorite classes so far in Black Ops 2. Since I know that a lot, a lot, a lot of people and most of my friends are struggling with Black Ops 2 and trying to do good but aren't doing so good because I don't know, they're not necessarily winning gunfights and everything. Well, this video is all for you guys. I'm going to show you with which classes I'm doing good. Like since the past maybe four or five days, I've really got the, f the feel of Black Ops 2. And I have some classes that just make it so easy to get good scores and easily win games. But first off, I must say that getting used to the feel of Black Ops 2 takes a long time. It's not like the previous Call of Duties. Me personally, it took me about 40, 45 levels to reach that good feeling. And now I'm doing great. And with these classes, I'm doing even better. So I'm going to tell you guys my favorite classes for short range, long range, and medium range. So let's start right now and I hope that you will enjoy. So first off, I'm giving you guys my best class, the one that I use all the time and the one that I get the best scores with. This, I must warn you that this is not a defensive class. This is an extremely very, very, very aggressive class that the main point of this class is to flank and rush. You always got to flank all the time or else it will not work. So the class is composed of, as a main weapon, the SMMC. You can also use the PDW with the exact same weapons since the SMC, SMMC sorry, gets unlocked later on and the PDW at the beginning. My attachments are the laser sight and the suppressor, the suppressor to not appear on the radar and the laser sight because you get better hip fire and it predicts where you're going to aim at. I think that the laser sight in, in general so far is really underrated and you should really use it. It really, really, really helps getting hip firing and kills. My secondary is the same on all of my classes, the B23R. I just find it quick to kill people with. And then my first perk is Ghost. Ghost, it's the only thing that I've permanently unlocked so far. I love Ghost in this game. It doesn't promote camping, it's unlocked far, and you have to move to not be on the radar, and I love that because it's made exactly for what I'm using it, flanking. You always, always gotta move with it. Kill one guy, move to the other one right away or else it will not work. After that, the second perk here, it's not really that important. I chose toughness because I don't like like flinching when I get shot. But it really doesn't matter which one you want to take. You, you can also take cold-blooded, I believe. And finally, extreme conditioning is a must if you want to try to flank and uh, rush. Because to get behind the players, you don't want to waste all your time just trying to run all around the map. You just want to get there the fastest possible. I also use Semtex because I find that Semtex is really a uh, lethal weapon for rushing. You can shoot it quickly and it explodes quickly and it's just made for rushing in my opinion. Finally, I'm kind of, I'm used to all the previous Call of Duty so I don't, I didn't really try the new tactical uh, grenades. But I love my concussions. I use them to determine if a guy is in the room and what you're seeing on screen right now is the same class but with the PDW57 for those who are interested in using that uh, that weapon since you lock it Ill earlier. As you can see, I don't use wild cards because I'm just used to the way that the Call of Duty classes are made since the first games. So I just like it this way and I don't think that I will ever change for more perks or anything because I don't like, for example, not having two attachments or not having a secondary. So now let's pass on to the next class. This class is made for long range use only. I mostly use this class on carrier and on express basically the class is the following as a main weapon the fall if you haven't tried it yet i strongly suggest you to use it i find the damage of the fall similar to the one in modern for 2 with the holographic side on it's either a two or three shot kill so it's extremely good uh, i strongly suggest you to put like a reticle on it for more precision i use the reflex side because it's the only one that i've unlocked and the quick draw because it's like quick scoping when you see someone after that, same secondary weapon, a B23R, with a concussion as the same as the last class because I'm just used to them. And for my perks, Fly Jacket and Tactical Mask are really defensive perks made to go on the objective more often. You, you die less on objectives when, for example, you want to try to cap B in Domination. You will survive longer on flags if you use Fly Jacket and Tactical Mask. Now for the second perk, this one is more important than the previous class, Toughness. 
Why? Because since the fall is a high damage weapon, that means that it does a lot of damage per bullet, it is extremely useful to use the toughness perk since you don't flinch when you get shot. For example, when you're in a gunfight with someone and you get shot first, your gun is kind of like going to bounce in the air, go upwards, and you will miss your one, two, three, four, or five bullets. You want to make sure to hit those one or two, three bullets to get the guy, and that way you will not die and kill him instead. So it's extremely useful on high damage weapons like the fall. Finally, Bouncing Betty, since this is a more defensive uh, class, I decided to put Bouncing Betty to watch my back when I'm covering an area. It's really useful, and I just prefer the Bouncing Betty over the Claymore. Finally, my last class to show you guys today is my medium range class. It's made of a Type 25 with Target Finder and the Quick Draw handle. The, to be honest, the Target Finder is amazing. If you don't use it on your assault rifles, I don't know what you're waiting for. It is extremely useful and it helps you aim and it helps you discover guys because sometimes when you aim down sight, you don't necessarily see a guy head glitching, but with this Target Finder, it will put a big red square on his face and it's, it is extremely easy to kill them. Also, there's barely any recoil when using the target finder and I love it that way. So this is the medium range class. By the way, I forgot to say it, I think. Then the perk one is ghost because I just enjoy ghost for flanking a bit. This is not really a flanking class, but it's either ghost or flag jacket. Second perk, it really doesn't matter because um, because it really doesn't matter. And finally, my per third perk is dexterity. I just like aiming quickly after sprinting. Since this is a medium range class, I kind of sprint more than my long range class. I use Semtex because it's my personal preference. Con concussion the same and my secondary weapon the same. So that is it for today. Thanks guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this guide to the close, medium and long range classes that I use. Please leave a like if you learned something and if you enjoyed have a great day and enjoy gaming.